Hey y'all, Ham here. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm literally exhausted, like dead tired all day. I woke up, I think it's because I've been going to bed late. I don't know, waking up early, I can't tell, but I, I slept all day. I was gonna go like to yoga and then jujitsu and make it like get back to the gym kind of kind of day. Did not happen. I ate four waffles and like went to bed. <laughs> I hope I'm not getting sick. I, a member of my family has a habit of walking around coughing and not covering their mouth. It's, <sighs> breathe. It's, it's weird. Like my ex would even say like, how come people in New York don't cover their mouth when they cough? It's freaking disgusting. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Like when I lived out in California, like it wasn't an issue, but <laughs> people on the East Coast, you grimy. You grimy. Um, so yeah, I'm a little groggy, but I had an idea for a video. Um, so anyway, oh, started a new round of broccoli sprouts. So maybe tomorrow I'll do a video kind of introducing them again. And I'll show you beginning and end because I actually have some already sprouted. And I have seeds that are starting, that I just started watering. Excuse me even though I'm still working on getting my seeds to be like fuller and greener and more like voluptuous. Um, like this is going to be my third um, batch that I've ever made. So, you know, just working out the kinks, I'm sure it'll take time to figure out how many days you should wait to like tr start greening them and how long you should be greening them for. And this, that, and a third, you know, just a bunch of jargon. So anyway, this video I just wanted to make about um, g goals and expectations of your dreams. Things that you've set up for yourself. So for instance, I have a, an associate's degree, a bachelor's degree, and I have two trades that I, want, that I did schooling for. But yet, I'm a stay-at-home mom and I do like private party like catering parties that's what I do why because I want to raise my kid so a lot of my dreams a lot of my expectations of where I'd be at financially career wise like I'm just not meeting those goals right now they haven't disappeared I don't it's not that I'm trying to you know I'm not depressed it's not like I'm trying to be lazy I think I'm just trying to be strategic and a lot of it is a burning sensation to want to raise my own kid. I don't believe I'll be having any more kids in my life. If I do, it'll be a surprise to me. Um, and just the circumstances in which I had a child and how uh, much of a surprise it was and just what I went through to get to this point. Um, you know, I've been through a lot of trauma and things like that. So I'm kind of just taking it day to day and you know not that anyone's putting pressure on me but you, you always think like well you have these expectations of where you'd be at or what you think people are thinking behind your back um but I'm really proud of myself because for the most part I don't let that kind of stuff bother me I don't think about that I, I have an idea in my head I don't feel the need to explain myself to anybody where like in the past I did you know and in my life um, so for instance like my schooling for college I have an associates in photography a bachelor's in studio art with an emphasis in photography and a minor in psychology I have a I went to school for, I went, actually went to school for bartending back when I was younger and then I went to school to be an esthetician which I didn't I finished, but I didn't take the test to actually gain the license. So I did all the work. I just never finished like taking the actual certification. Like I got all my credits and everything. So that was kind of like a wash in a way, like which I would go back to. Like I learned how to do laser hair removal and here in New York, you don't have to be a nurse to um, do any kind of laser, you know, aesthetic, anything. So like Juvederm or, wait, I don't know what the fuck. Ooh. or like the sculpt the cool sculpting and all that like I could technically 
get jobs doing that kind of stuff and you make a lot of money. My fear is because I'm a single mom, even though my mom is now retired, I have other children in my family. My siblings have kids. So I'd have to be at a place in my head and my heart and especially with my kid, you know, I want to make sure they're mentally stable and everything's cool and they're to the point where I think they're okay. Um, where I don't need someone else like raising them uh, to go to work full time or do anything like that. Like I want to be home with my child. Um, I think, think that it's the best for them at this point in their life. And I think I'm being a responsible parent. Um, you know, I do, and I want to go back to school. Like I'm, I'm into, I'm thinking about design and, you know, I love engineering and I love baking and like, there's all these like creative things that I want to do. I'm a very creative person. I like to create, build. And, and when I tell you, and I'm not just bragging, I was actually a very good photographer. I have a very good creative expression with my work it's a lot, a lot of fine art um, but I don't have a computer I don't have lights anymore I have an old camera but it works good and I'm, I'm more of a film photographer the world everyone's got a camera on their phone everyone's got an SLR digital you know it's, it's like if it, the problem with photography is it's probably the most expensive form of art that there is so if you don't have the means to print like, how am I going to have a studio? Like, you have to invest so much money to start all that. So it's very intimidating. It's not that I don't think I could accomplish it. Like, I think I would blow up and be amazing. It's, when am I ready to make that investment, you know? And do I have the means to make that investment? Like, is that something that, like, you weigh out the pros and cons. Like, I have a mouth to feed other than my own. And a bulldog to feed. <laughs> eats me out of house and home but uh so you just I worry about taking that plunge I don't think it's that I don't believe in myself like I just said like I actually think that I would be amazing I just feel that this is where I need to be in my life right now so what is this video about essentially um you know never lose sight of the goals that you've set for yourself they can change, they can teeter, you know, a little bit here and there. But don't ever think that, like, don't put yourself down like you, uh, like, oh, I, 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 I'm not going to try because I can't do that. I just, I just don't think I would succeed. That was my thought process maybe a couple years ago. Um, but, like, in my heart of hearts, I know that I would be really good at whoever would give me a chance, you know. Um... I just need a chance and like I had this job like a year ago and I just don't think it was challenging enough and I ended up leaving um, and it was like a really far drive and it was like a lot of like waiting to get to the like I just don't have that kind of mental space to just wait to be in the profession that I want like I don't want to start at the bottom in the mailing room to then six years later now I'm finally a photographer or whatever you know whatever the, the thing is you know so getting a new portfolio together you know there's a lot to it and I'm babbling I'm sorry forgive me um, so what I want to say to you is and I've, I've had a video about like goals and things in the past but specifically career-wise patience keep believing because it's there it's not going away like I just started watching some like youtubers I never used to watch YouTube I only started watching like I started this channel back in May but I only started watching like some youtubers like September like it took me a while like I just like recently been introduced to this world like I used to just watch YouTube for like music video you know like whatever normal stuff looking up how to do something you know um, and it's funny because it's like you just get a glimpse into people's real lives and like 
how long it took them to get to where they're at. And the one thing they have in common is they never stopped trying, no matter how long it took. And that's kind of where I feel like I'm at. Even though I'm not actively doing much to put myself there, mentally, I'm getting myself to the point where like, when the time comes, I'm gonna hit the ground running. And I think that's what my suggestion is to all of you, that even if you're not physically there and you're getting antsy and you wish you had the career you wanted and the, and the salary you wanted, if you can't work on it physically, work on it mentally. Get yourself to the point to, to where when you do have that goal in your hands, that you're just gonna hit the ground running and make it happen and, and there's not gonna be any looking back and you will succeed. So I think the work I'm doing right now is mental. And it sucks because you don't, you know, there's no results in front of you. You're not, you know, earning anything or making anything. But what I'd like to say to y'all is, um, you know, in, in such a fast paced society where we're used to instant gratification and things just like you need a visual, like, once again, trust in the process and keep focused on um, the, re the, the result that you're gonna, going to eventually achieve. And it's like you can manifest anything. Like just keep believing it and keep your mind there and like the things that you need to prepare yourself mentally for, emotionally for keep planning okay so now when I am there who's gonna watch my kid how am I gonna drive myself there like you know just like any little minute details but really truly focus on it and um, you know before you know it you will be to a place like I've seen this happen in my life where things were just so rock bottom bad and you just think that like there's literally no way I'm getting out of this. You do not see a means to an end and you just feel beyond stuck. And then the next thing you know, you're saved. And things are different. And you just never thought it could happen. Okay, so keep that strong mentality. And it sucks, I know. It seems like, yeah, this sucks. I don't wanna do this crap. But am I right or am I right? You know? So for me, you know, photographer was my goal. It sucks. I felt so deflated when I saw the world, everyone became a photographer. And I was like, six years of schooling down the drain. And like it's expensive like I have student loan like I have a student loan but it's not even for photography it's for my esthetician that I can barely like make payments for at this point you know I get it it's rough 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 and uh, you know coming from the world of bartending where you can make a salary in four hours as opposed to four days you know, it's hard, like, just like strippers, like, I'm sure for them, it's, like, difficult to go from that kind of money that quickly on their own time to working, like, a nine-to-five and barely making what they would make in a night in five-day work week with more stress and more bullshit. So, I get it. But just, again laser focused up here even if physically it's not being shown all right all right eh, love you all you're beautiful i hope you feel healthy and happy today keep working keep trying i think you're great i think you look good and i love that smile bye guys